Hi everyone, this is Manish and today I am going to discuss about the Intune setup and the configuration for enrolling the device. In my last video, I discussed about that how we can get the Intune subscription. There were two kinds of subscriptions which I talked about. So if, if you haven't watched that video, you should be watching that before doing the real configuration. So let's start. This topic, this video will be more focused upon the practical lab that how we can uh, configure the Intune configuration on the portal and then we will be also going to perform the enrollment on a device on Windows 10 device. Let's start. We are just making sure that our Intune subscription is ready. In the last video when I told you about getting the Intune subscription ready, I was talking about two things that Microsoft Intune trial version which comes with one month of trial with 25 license and another one is about the EMS Enter Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial. That comes with three months of trial with 250 license. So the second one will be the recommended one. So once you are ready with this subscription, then we can do the upcoming configuration for the Intune. So if what, when I'm talking about the Intune configuration, what I mean to say, like what exactly the things I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new user. Then I'm going to assign a license, uh, an appropriate license, the Intune license to that user. The third thing I'm going to uh, allow the user to join to Azure Active Directory and the fourth one is the user, I will be allowing the user to enroll device into Intune. Let's understand about the prerequisites that why we are performing these steps for the enrollment. See for, uh, for uh, the device to enroll in Intune user needs to have a license assigned so this is what we are going to do the very second thing is that user needs to join to Azure Active Directory. Without joining Azure Active Directory, we cannot uh, enroll the device. So that is the, more, the important step. And finally, we should allow user, we should be giving the permission to the user so that they can enroll their device. Here I am on the Azure portal, portal.azure.com. Let's go to the Azure Active Directory. I'm going to create the user. So let, let's click on users. Click on new user. And let's provide the user information. Let's say user1. Name is user1. User1. Uh, let me create a password. And that's it. Click on create. My user has been created. Now I would like to assign the license. Let's click on user one. On left pane you can see licenses. Right now I cannot see any license assigned. Let's click on the assignments to assign a specific license. So I have already have enterprise mobility plus security E5 license, the trial version. I'm going to select that and I'm selecting all the options, the license options and let's click on save. When I try to click on save, I got the error that license assignment has failed. So why it failed? Let's have a look. I can see the user, the user location has not been specified for the user. I did it intentionally to show you that what kind of error we get if user location is not specified. So let's go to the users again. Azure Active Directory, Users, User1, let me edit this option and I'm going to specify the location, that's it, done. So my first time step is done with user usage location specified. Again, let's click on User1, Licenses and this time I'm not going to get any error while specifying the license. Let's click on save. And yes, I got the notification license assignment succeeded. So I am done with the second step of assigning the license to the user. Now I was telling you about that we need to give permission to the user so that they can join to Azure Active Directory. Under Azure Active Directory, click on devices and then device settings. In device settings, I, I have three options under the users may join devices to Azure Active Directory. So all selected and none. 
when I, when I select all, it is going to allow all the users to join to Azure Active Directory. In case if you are doing the piloting, I would say that go with the selected option by specifying the specific user or group. So let's say this is the, the test environment, I can go and click on all. Let's save it. So I have allowed the permission for Azure Active Directory to join. Now next thing is about the Intune enrollment. Scroll down under Azure Active Directory and go to <coughs> Mobility, MDM and MAM. You will be able to see two options, Microsoft Intune and Microsoft Intune Enrollment. So let's go to Microsoft Intune first. We have two scopes, MDM User Scope and MAM User Scope. So our focus is more upon the MDM User Scope because we are not talking about the application you know, management thing. So it's all, all, all about the MDM User Scope. So let's click on all click on save done same thing we are going to be the, going to do with the microsoft enrollment click on all and save we are done with the configuration our user is ready with the license azure active directory permissions and microsoft into enrollment permissions so let's log into the Windows 10 device and perform the uh, enrollment process. So this is my Windows 10 device. Go to start settings. So what we are going to do over here is to enroll the device. Enrolling the device is just think about an example that uh, bring your own device. This is my device joined to the work group and I would like to enroll it to the Intune. So usually if your device is on premises and it's joined to a hybrid Azure AD, so the process will be completely automated. You don't have to do anything because the group policies or through the SCCM co-management things can be done. But for your uh, bring your own device which is joined to the work group, you can join, uh, you can enroll your device to the corporate so that you can, the, the device can be controlled or you can use the application and everything. So under start settings, click on accounts and click on access work or school. This is the place where we are going to perform the enrollment process. Click on connect under access or work school. Let's click on connect. Okay. So if we specify email address over here, uh, we are not going to perform the Azure directory directory join it is actually going to perform the azure directory, directory registration so what registration means that you can only access the office which for applications applications related to your corporate your company but it will not be enrolled for the enrollment and active active directory joining purpose you have to click on join this device to azure active directory let's click over here Okay, so let's start. We are going to provide the user ID. Next page, let's provide the password. Let's provide the password over here. Okay, this is the important phase. It, it is asking that would you like to join your device to the uh, Intune means the MDM authority. If we click on join, this is the process which is actually going to perform the, the enrollment process. And that's it. Our device is joined to the Intune. Let's click on Done. And what we are going to see over here is that we are connected to Azure Active Directory. So if I click over here and go to Info, we can see the information specified. So we have a few options available over here. If we scroll down, that device sync status when the, when the last time it got synced. And we are also getting the information about that from where exactly this is managed. We can see the details of MDM authority and everything is looking good. We can also verify the uh, status of our enrollment 
by going to the command prompt and there is a command which can give us the appropriate information let's run that command that is ds reg cmd slash status so you can see showing the status as the your azure id joint status showing as cs and device id and other the tenant name and urls are getting displayed over here so everything looks okay now we can come to the console the azure portal console and endpoint uh, portal console to see what happens under azure active directory if i go to devices all devices yeah i can see my device has been listed over here same way if i go to the endpoint portal intune portal go to devices windows and here you go i can see my device got enrolled so right now it is showing some kind of uh, username underscore the device details and uh, time format after some time after a couple of minutes we will be able to see the proper appropriate device name with device 01 so this is this was one of the way to enroll a device there are multiple ways to enroll another way is by using the microsoft store so microsoft through microsoft store if we download the company portal we can uh, enroll the device let me show you how i am once again back to the device i have removed all the details of this device let me verify if i go to settings accounts access work or school I can see the device is not joined to into Azure Active, Active Directory join and other things are missing. So this time I'm going to use another method. Let's go to Microsoft Store. And search for company portal. Company portal is equivalent to software central what comes with the Configuration Manager SCM. So same way, the company portal is an application through which, once it is ready, uh, once it is installed, uh, we can do the sync. We can deploy application package. Everything will be listed over here, and it becomes quite easy to manage the things. And click on Get. There is no need to log into the device to sign into the Microsoft Store. So I can click on simply No Thanks. Without logging on, I can install the company portal. And click on install company portal is installed let me launch now i'm going to provide my username and credentials once i complete this process my device will be automatically getting controlled to the intune Okay, this is option again it's giving me the same option that what exactly I wanted to do if I just click on no sign in to this app only I will be only able to access the company portal but our goal is to enroll the device so that it can be managed by the Intune so for that this box needs to be checked allow my organization to manage my device and click on OK And that's it. Our device is registered now. If we go to settings, now we are able to see that work or school account mentioned the same way it was showing previously. Click on info, the same thing, the MDM authority and the sync status, everything will be available over here. If I go to the company portal, I can see the list of all devices user is having using and if I go to applications and other stuff, we can just simply go because when I deploy an application in available mode, that will be displayed over here. So a lot of options are over here. I can go and explore. So company portal is quite provide a lot of flexibility.
for deploying the applications and so that user can simply go and check what exactly is is there so if you click on settings under the company portal the sync status is there you can see other details we can also verify the joining process through the event viewer let's go to event viewer now expand applications and services log Microsoft Windows scroll down and look for user device registration US user device registration and admin here the information related to our the the Intune enrollment process will be shown we can see the complete joint response operation was successful other steps related to that what exactly happened and you can go and verify everything will be visible over here the initiation of the joint request was successful joint request 5 workplace joining the domain details and everything is visible i hope this video would have given you a proper insight on how to perform the enrollment what are the settings we do with the intune if you really like kindly subscribe and like the video that really makes a lot of difference thank you so much